Hello Techies, this is Miguelina Betty, aka Catwoman from Tech Valor. And in this video, I'm going to be testing out the Pixel 6a's camera to see if it overheats and um, how long it takes for it to overheat, if it overheats at all. So I'm doing this in my room. It's not too hot, not too cold, as you can tell here by the CPU uh, temperature. It's a decent Fahrenheit and we're gonna um, go over to the camera and we're gonna record a video and it's gonna be at 4k for the video it's gonna be at 4k 60 and I want to have the stopwatch here as well just because that way it, you'll see it kind of like a bigger number instead of like a small number here at the bottom and let's put it to the test and see how long it takes before it overheats if it even overheats. And just to clarify, this here is the Pixel 6 and this is the Pixel 6a. VoiceOver Catwoman will take it over from here. So some people have been reporting that their Pixel 6a overheats and that usually happens when they're outside in the heat and there have been record heat waves all around the world. So I wanted to do this experiment in a controlled climate. It's about 71 degrees in my house right now. The AC is blowing. So I'm hoping that the phone doesn't overheat at all. But that is very naive thinking. It will overheat. I did some video recordings outside. They were no longer than about four minutes and it didn't overheat. And I did do videos that were different types of resolutions. So I did, you know, 4K 60, 4K 30, 1080p 60, 1080p 30. And it didn't overheat for me. As far as the phone getting hot, it wasn't hot for me. It was a little bit warm, but it wasn't warm to where I couldn't hold it or it was uncomfortable or anything like that. Now, mind you, I was using a tripod, but after I finished recording, I did touch the back of the phone to see how hot it was. And it, like I said, it wasn't an uncomfortable type of heat to the phone. I'm touching it and it's warm in the back, but it's not hot. We are now passing the nine minute mark and the warmth that I was describing is the same warmth that I was getting when I was recording outside. It was warm, but not hot to the touch. It wasn't uncomfortable. The Pixel 6a is the first Pixel A line phone that is using the Tensor chip. And I think that's what's really helping out with the performance here. Another thing that I'd like to disclose is that I'm actually using my Pixel 6 Pro in order to record this video. And this also has the Tensor chip. So pay attention to the stopwatch on the Pixel 6 because as however long that stopwatch timer is going, that's how long this camera is going. And I used it to not only record up until however long it does overheat, but also the recovery as well. Now, as far as what type of resolution this video is in, it is 1080p 30 frames per second. It's not 4K. Um, the reason is because I wanted to use this camera for endurance and the Pixel 6 Pro, I knew wasn't gonna have any problems as far as with endurance while I was recording and making this video. If I did do 4K 60 or 4K 30, then I might have run into some issues. And again, I just wanted to make sure to capture this information for you guys. And I hope that this helps. At the 25 minute mark is when the phone overheats. And I'm actually impressed with the Pixel 6a because I was actually going to stop it at 30 minutes. So the fact that it got all the way to 25 minutes is pretty good. And now what I'd like to do is check out the Tensor chip to see how hot it is. 
the thermal levels is all maxed out and the degrees is over 100 degrees Fahrenheit for the Tensor chip. And what I do now at this point is actually I turn off my camera so that I could go and take the Pixel 6 Pro over to my computer and then I take out this video. But then I realized actually I should record the recovery method and see how long it takes for the phone to recover to when you're able to actually start using the camera again. I will switch over to that footage right now. I would say it took me about five minutes to transfer the video that was in my camera from the Pixel 6 Pro over to my computer and then I went back and then I started recording again. So whatever time this shows up as, I would say add five minutes to it. And the goal is to get back to the thermal level and the CPU degrees that it was in before I started recording. I have to admit, I was pretty concerned that it was still over 100 degrees Fahrenheit and it had been about 15 minutes at this point in time. When it got into the 90 degrees, then I was like, okay, cool. It is going down and it will go down eventually. So then I just waited until, again, the goal was about 88 degrees, which is where I started. Even though right now the app is saying that there is no performance limitations and that I could probably start recording again, I would rather it get down to 88 degrees where it was before so that way it can record again for another 25 minutes at 4K60. If you do end up trying this camera performance test method, definitely let me know how it works out for you, how long it takes for it to overheat and how long it takes for it to recover as well. I would love to know. At 25 minutes is when the Pixel 6a's tensor chip gets down to about 88 degrees. I think that it's a long time for a phone to recover from overheating. I think it is. But again, I am impressed by how long it did record at 4K60. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you're gonna be getting the Pixel 6a, I'd love to have a conversation. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video and Catwoman out.